Welcome to Tech Binomial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use pipes in an ionic angular application. Basically, what are pipes? Pipes are the simple functions which are applied on some expression or value to transform it into some other value. Angular provided many built-in pipes like uppercase, lowercase, date, currency, percent, slice and decimal. Apart from this, user can create the own custom pipes as per the requirement. Create an ionic angular application. I am specifically using here the standalone template for the ionic 7. Therefore, in the component, you will observe that standalone is set to true. So, what it means? In latest version of the angulars, the need for the ng modules is reduced. Therefore, in the template, you will observe that the model.ts files are mostly removed. Let's start by adding the pipe for the date. Here we are passing the date string as an input, name of the pipe and the different formats in which we want to display the date. Error here. To remove this error, we will import the common module. Add this common module in the import section of the component. Now it is displaying the dates in three different formats. The uppercase, lowercase, JSON and the title case pipe. Text is provided as the input. And it is displaying the text in respective formats. The currency pipe. For the currency pipe, we are providing here the name of the currency like INR, true to display the symbol of the currency and the format in which we want to display the currency value like number of digits or decimal places. Percentage and the slice pipe. Percentage value is displayed in the particular format. And the slice will take the slice of an array. So declare here one array. And slice means particularly slice as per the upper and lower limit. We can change in the format. The display format get changed here. Now for the decimal, uh, we will take the input uh, component and define its change method. To use the ng module, here need to import the forms module. Now it display the numbers in different decimal formats. As per the input, the value get displayed. Run this command to generate the pipe. We name this custom pipe as age which calculate the age as per the birth date. Pass this with the command. The 
pipe is generated. So need to add here the logic to calculate the age. And retain the calculated age. Date of birth is the input parameter. In the HTML, we use the age pie and pass some birth date. Add the age pipe in the import section of the component. Still the error as we have not declared the pipe as the standalone. Set here standalone to true. Otherwise it will need the ng module. Yes, working fine. Calculated the age. Now how to pass multiple parameters to the pipe. For that we consider the example of the volume. Let's generate a pipe for the volume. So three parameters require here. Length, breadth and height. Take as the input parameters and this pipe return the calculated volume. And this is how we pass multiple parameters in the HTML. This is the first parameter, name of the pipe, second and third parameter. So volume is calculated here, working fine. Waiting for your queries in the comment box. Don't forget to like the videos and subscribe the channel. Till then, have a good time. Bye-bye.